Hey everyone, welcome to Bodyworks Prime. Today we're going to be going over the origin, the insertion and the action of the vastus medialis muscle. Here we can see the vastus medialis muscle, and the vastus medialis is one of the four quadricep muscles. The other three are the vastus intermedius, the rectus femoris, and the vastus lateralis. The vastus medialis is the most medial of the quadricep muscles, meaning it's closest to midline of the body. You can see next to it here the rectus femoris and the vastus lateralis as the most lateral quadricep muscle. Underneath the rectus femoris here, or deep to it, we have the vastus intermedius. The vastus medialis origin is going to begin on the anterior side of the femur and then work its way around to the posterior side. Marked out here in red, you can see the anterior origins, which are on the intratrochanteric line, as well as the spiral line, which is also known as the pectineal line of the femur. As the origin then works its way around to the posterior of the femur, it's going to work its way down the medial lip of the linear aspera and the proximal part of the medial supracondylar line. As well as originating from the femur itself, it's also going to originate from two of the adductor muscles. The first adductor is the adductor magnus muscle, and the second muscle it's going to be originating from is the adductor longus muscle. And if you want to see the anatomy videos for either of those, I'll put some links down in the description and you can check them out after. Our last point of origin is the medial intramuscular septum of the thigh, and this is a fold of deep fascia, and it lies between the vastus medialis muscle here and the adductors and the pectineus. And this separates the anterior compartment of the thigh from the medial compartment of the thigh, as well as providing that origin point for the vastus medialis muscle. As for the insertion, it connects onto the medial border of the patella, which you can see I've highlighted here in blue. In addition to connecting directly onto the patella itself, it's also going to connect onto the patella ligament, and this is via the quadriceps tendon, so all of the quadriceps muscles come together and they form this quadriceps tendon. And this quadriceps tendon inserts onto the patella ligament, which you can see I'm just highlighting here. Now, as for the vastus medialis, that's going to form part of the medial portion of that tendon primarily. So it's going to connect more onto the medial side of the patella ligament itself. This patella ligament is then going to come down and it's going to insert onto the tibial tuberosity, which obviously you can see I've marked out on the other tibia in blue. So we're back again with the skeletal model. Let's take a look at the action of the vastus medialis muscle. So vastus medialis is coming down the medial side of the femur here, crossing over the knee joint. So as it contracts, it's going to cause an extension of the knee. And that's going to be happening alongside the other quadricep muscles, which are also going to extend the knee. Now, the vastus medialis is also going to work with the vastus lateralis to stabilize the knee because we've got the vastus medialis on the inside and the vastus lateralis on the outside. So if you enjoyed the video or you found it helpful, you know which buttons to press. Press these buttons down there because it really helps our channel. I've got links in the description box to the other quadricep muscles, so take a look at them if you're interested. I've also got another link to the website where I've got a full in-depth article on the vastus medialis muscle. So if you want to learn more about it, take a look at that as well. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you all next time.